Good morning, everyone. I'm Jeff Higgins from Higgins Storm Chasing. It is Thursday, the 17th of the 3rd, 2016. Okay, in this video, we will focus on North Queensland and the tropical low, what is left of it, what is going to become of it, what could happen out here in the coral. Um, so as you can see here on the current weather zone radar and water vapour imagery, the, the centre of the tropical low was located here just to the north of Georgetown. Um, this is at 11.30 a.m. this morning. And that core region did dump 214 millimetres of rainfall on a property there this morning or overnight and into this morning. It did track from yesterday, the tropical low intensified and it tracked from Mornington Island and crossed the coast here just between Kawanyama and Normanton. The Joint Typhoon Warning Centre briefly labelled it as a cyclone. The Bureau of Meteorology stuck with the tropical low. Either way, it didn't matter what it became. If it was going to become a bomb cyclone, name them, it would have been Yvette. Um, I haven't seen any reports out of where it crossed the coast. No doubt there would have been some strong winds and heavy rain, which has been reflected where the, where the centre is now. Uh, you can see the monsoon trough or the rotation around the tropical low, dragging the monsoon trough down through the peninsula. Weepers had some good rainfall. I think there's been 50 locations across North Queensland in the past 24 hours that had up to 100 mil. 14 over 100 and 1 over 200. So there's been some pretty good heavy rainfall across the area. Um, and you can see that it is continuing, though that it's starting to push off the coast there a little bit from Cooktown to Cairns. But we do expect some more heavy rain there over the next few days or today at, at the least. So let's move over here and have a look at the low-level wind charts and we'll start to see what this system could do. Um, it's not overly important, I guess, about the low, though it does influence the weather, um, the old low out here and what, what may happen. So this is at 4 p.m. this afternoon, GFS via BSCH. You can see the original tropical low, which was located currently just to the north of Georgetown, sort of was heading east. I think it's slowing right down at almost stationary, and GFS has it tracking then back to the west. You can see the circulation there tracking back towards the west. Now, over here, just opposite Cairns and anywhere from about, say, Townsville to Cape Flattery, but it looks like a Cairns here. There's going to be another low develop, or there could be. I won't say there's going to be. I hate saying that. But there could be another low develop here um, today and tonight and into tomorrow. Um, and that low is close enough to the coast to cause effects, obviously, increase in southeast winds and, and, and some rain wrapping around that with the monsoon flow ripping down through the peninsula, feeding in. Let's go over here to, to 4 a.m. I'm going to keep this update quite quite brief as or as brief as possible. It's 4 a.m. on Friday morning. You can see an elongated low-pressure system out here or a strong monsoon trough, whichever it becomes, um, driving strong southeast winds onto the coast here and the monsoon trough across the top of the peninsula. But the old tropical low is still here. It's tracked now north. Um, it's on the border there of the Gulf Country and Peninsula. That's the old tropical low there. If we move out to Friday, Friday afternoon, um, we can see the old tropical low. It, it's only just a feature, but it is rotating there. Um, the monsoon trough is extending from Cape Flattery off the North Queensland coast. There could be a low out here somewhere developed. Numerous models are saying there is or will. Again, all the way up the Queensland, North Queensland coast, you'll have these driving southeasterly winds and, and showers. All right, so by, I think by by Friday afternoon, a lot of the heavy rainfall from most of North Queensland is going to ease back and be gone with only the possibility around here, from right up the very top through the peninsula where the old TL is and the monsoon flow. If we move out to Saturday at 4 a.m., you can see that monsoon trough across the peninsula out into the coral. Um, to the southeast winds. There is a surface trough moving through parts of Queensland, inland parts, um, western there, down through central, so we'd expect showers and thunderstorms to develop along that line there. I will do a separate video for that. Let's move over here and have a look at a, um, a few recent tracks from tropical tidbits about this, this tropical low. You can see it just here in the Gulf Country, and you can see the, the spread of models where they have it, you know, Navgem pushes it back into the Gulf. 
the GFS ensembles and gem push it up well, it pulls it back that way you know it's all over the shop but look generally we've we've put it in in on the peninsula here in our forecast maps and modeling um, and this one takes it out over off the coast I think the bomb think that it's going to track across and go straight over the top of Cairns and then redevelop out here on their latest update but I believe it'll wash out just west of Cairns here or track back to the north northwest and, and a new low will develop okay so again we'll just have a look at one more model this is the EC model um, it shows the low in that vicinity across that region which is about correct if we go out to tomorrow it loses the low pressure system over the peninsula and develops this new one out here off Cairns and it continues to take it away towards the east and that is what we expect that will happen we don't expect it to develop into a tropical cyclone although it has a chance and it's certainly not forecast to come down and affect the coast of Queensland all right all clear if we have a look at the bureau's model access you can see the timeline scrolling across there at the top as we as it resets itself and comes back to today which is now you can see the low pressure system there in the Gulf country or just north of Georgetown and it just floats around it, it tracks to the north becomes a non-existent feature redevelops in the Gulf as a low tropical low disappears and then there's one out here in the coral sea that develops all right that's about what we believe will happen the low will become slow moving here track up up through the peninsula back into the Gulf not redevelop may intensify slightly uh, a new low develops off off cans and gets lost out here somewhere in the coral scene let's go over so it's not really it's not important uh, about that the, the, the thing at the moment is that is unlikely to be a, a potential cyclone or a, a significant cyclone in the North Queensland region uh, in the coming five days uh, the focus will be on any remaining heavy rainfall which is now uh, forecast to be focused from about Townsville to to Normanton North uh, this is the four-day block and you can see that rainfalls have now significantly backed off because the systems come over land weakened it's not going to redevelop anywhere as a significant system to affect North Queensland so this has been reflected in the rainfall figures now that are, they've tapered off in the long longer term still uh, areas of, of 50 up up to 100 and possibly a 150 couple of 150s there in tw over the next four days but these were likely to fall in the next few days okay so still a chance of some heavy rain up there um, be good if towns have got a bit more and put some more in your dam but hey it's not over yet um, guys don't forget to head over to our, our website um, we have the premium membership here on offer for 27 a year that's where all our advanced forecast maps detailed text and advanced videos go and as well you're supporting the team to continue doing doing what we're doing across our networks you guys um, basically employ us now full time okay guys stay safe thanks for watching I will now go and produce a forecast video for southeast Queensland potential storms and inland parts of Queensland potential storms coming up uh, uh, this weekend all right cheers guys stay safe